Hello everybody, it is your boy Twitplays here, back with another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with the please donate kit, and I know you guys have been having a lot of questions. Uh, I believe it up in the description, in the comment section, and I am also answering them on Discord. So just feel free to comment them below or whatever. I'm answering all of them. But um, yeah. Thank you. Welcome back. So today in this video, we are going to be doing the overhead system. Now, this is the updated version of my overhead system. And uh, you guys are probably wondering, what did we do? I'm going to show you in just a second here. I just want to let you know that I did not make this updated system. Dev Daniel did. So thank you to him. Feel free to check him out in the description. Um, he's really nice. And I decided to just make the model real quick, though, because I had some stuff to update. But this is updated. This is really nice. And it comes with the icons and the level. So it's really nice. Um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, you guys. And uh, we do do a lot of stuff. Um, if you want to join the Discord, we do help out people there that are in need and um, are new to scripting and everything. So, yeah, feel free to join the Discord. So, let's get straight to this. So, first things first, you're going to load into your Roblox Studio and you're going to go to the, uh, to the description. Grab the model, which is going to look like this. Once you get the model, you're going to just click it right here or you're going to click download or whatever you like. Um, claim the model and you are going to put this into your um, game by going into toolbox inventory and clicking one of the buttons right here click OK and there we go so inside here it's gonna have a readme and we can click this read this is a really happy me thank you Daniel go to click his YouTube pro uh, his profile on Roblox go for give him a follow whatever anything works he's got a lot of followers which is nice um, but yeah, so these are where you're going to ungroup. So we're going to put this in replicate storage. We are going to put this in server script service. And then we're going to put it in starter character scripts. Now, the reason for these B is this is where we're going to have the system work. So replicate storage, server script service, and starter character scripts. And it already comes with folders and everything. So quickly starting off, um, this is going to be used da using data stores and GUIs and everything like that. Um, we are going to, in the vibe kit, be doing data store 2, not data store 1. This is data store 1, though. Um, so if you guys already have the minutes in cash script, feel free to delete this right here. You don't need it. Um, if you are new to this channel, the minutes in cash script basically manages um, giving players cash and minutes. I'll quickly explain it real quick. Um, this is the minutes. This is the cash. If you're trying to change the name, I wouldn't recommend doing that right now. But you could just change this right here. Then make sure to change the data down here and uh, all the values in this when they leave. Um, and you can uh, change it so it shows in the leaderboard by doing uh, leader stats, or you can set it to the player. I'm going to do cash to player because I don't want to show right now. Then the game pass IDs, this is for like two times or three times um, increment values. Um, if they own it, it will give them as much as the increment value, so plus three, you know. So that's how that works. Um, then we have the overhead script we're going to go into in a second here. Um, AFK handler, pretty simple. Um, so what happens here in the local scripts is if they uh, go out of the window or they go back in, um, it will fire that they are AFK. And then right here, what we'll do is we will um, update their user tag. Um, now we have a new update. So right here, this is going to check if they have a display name. And of course, and if they have a display name, uh, you'll put AFK, display name, then the player name, which is nice. Um, right here, though, if you don't want to put enable on, this is kind of a new option. I guess I just saw this in here. So if you don't want to uh, have the AFK show up when you click out, you can actually put your user ID right here, so it'll never say that you're AFK, which is kind of weird. I've never thought about that. Um, so yeah, you can put this right here, and it'll just like say that you're never AFK or not. You know, that's what it basically does. Um, and yeah, so that's just the AFK part. Um, now, in the overhead GUIs, there's a few things. We got overhead icons and the overhead GUI. This is the main thing. Um, if you put a part down and actually put the overhead GUI on top of it, you will see it. And this is where you're going to want to edit it. So you're going to want to change the icon um, would, like to look at an icon that you want, you'll just want to mess around with it. So you, you'll be able to see it later. Um, actually I'm going to just not mess with that. Um, not this one. Sorry. We're going to look at these in a second here. The levels, you can change the font and everything. So like if you want to do fantasy, like certain kind of fonts, like a, a RPG or something like that, mess around with this, do whatever you like. You could change the colors, everything you like. This is going to be the default over overhead though. So just remember that. So in here, put that back in, in there. Over at icons, we have admin, developer, friend, high level, and popular. The way you can change these and mess with them is going by into starter GUI, creating a screen GUI, creating an image label, and then being able to put them in there. As you can tell, if I go into here, you'll see that that's the developer icon. We have the popular icon. We have the high level icon. That Those are the basically the icons. Pretty nice. Um, it's super simple stuff with that. I, I'm not telling you how to do much because you really don't do anything rather than um, you can customize the fonts and everything in here uh, all you like. But 
really it's, it's nothing too big of a deal. Um, and we're using just one overhead now. So instead of using multiple, we're just using one. So in here, we have the overhead script, okay? So replicate storage, marketplace service, and players, and then admins, popular, and all this other stuff. So right here is the icons. What you're gonna wanna do is put the user ID of the admins, the popular people, anything like that. Uh, popular, I, I should have just sent a, a group break for that. You could do that right here if you like. Um, but you might want to just enter in each individual user ID and the user ID is just go to the profile link and click that nine number right there. And that is going to be the user ID. Um, and you'll just put it right here. So it's going to be like this. And then if you want to keep adding more people, you just hit comma and then you just keep on going. So that's it. Um, that's for the admins and the popular. Um, but what we're doing is we're grabbing the icons, the overhead UI and the overhead UIs. Um, and this is where you're going to be putting your group ID. So make sure to put your group ID right here um, by grabbing your group ID. It's the same way. You go to your group, go to your um, link and look at the little nine number. Then for the roles, you're going to have all of these specific roles. So if they're rank zero and you're able to check this in your group ranks, if they're rank zero, they're going to get um, rainbow falls and the color from RGB is just going to be white. If they rank like high level, 254, 252, all that kind of stuff, these are where you get to change the colors and everything like that. So mess around with this, change it how you like. Um, I'll just do like blue for me because I'm the highest rank in my group. And then you're going to set your rainbow to true or false if they want it or not. Um, then down here we have the icon update. So this is where we're doing the icon. Um, this is the new function. So if the levels are over 10,000, if we check that the player level is over 10,000, we're going to give them that icon high level. If the rank equals 252, then the friend. Okay, yeah, this is where I'm talking about. Okay, so if they are, um, if their rank is the, uh, this is where you can add the popular. So if you want to check if they are popular rank, the, like influencer rank, you could do like whatever. So I think it'd be like probably you guys would do 254, 45 or something. Then you would do icon equals um, uh, popular. And then it's going to do that for you. Basically... You kind of just have to mess around with it. But right here, we have a for loop that checks if the user ID is a current to, equivalent to V. And V is in pairs of the admin. So anyone in here in this table, if they are, we're going to set that icon to admin. Same goes for here. If they're over here, then they're a developer. Um, if they're greater than 254, they're a ranked developer. Um, then this is the uh, thing. So if they in icons, then we icon equals V. Break it. Now we have a string value. Um, this is just to make sure the icon image is true. Um, but yeah, so this is the main script right here. And as you can see, it's not long, not longer than ever. So what we're doing is we're checking if the player gets added. If the player, when the player joins the game, then we're going to check when their character appearance is loaded. So use last time I changed it to human order root part because people who had headless would not get this, but we changed it to character appearance loaded instead of character added because character added isn't just checking if the player is loaded. It will just completely say that they are added and it will not fully load in everything we're waiting till everything's fully loaded then we're getting their head in humanoid then we're getting their level now if you guys don't have your level in the minute stats uh apparented to the leader stats it's apparent to the player make sure to move get rid of this right here and change it to that because that is going to error in the output and you'll be able to see that now we just have the humanoid display distance type this is just the um the name the normal name you normally get over the humanoid we're not going to have that um, then we're going to get the clone UI, which is going to be the overhead UI, and we're just going to clone it, and we're just going to make that our main thing. So, gradient, gradient script, icon, we're grabbing all the locals, we're grading the variables, then we're setting the username text to player.displayName dot dot dot, then your name, then we're setting the name to overhead UI, because then when we do the, like, you know, for the other scripts, we want to turn off overheads, that will know that that's the overhead UI, and we sent the parrot to the head. Then we create the group role right here. Role equals G guest. You will change this to whatever you want. So um, M for member. You can say that. And you could do little dash marks, you know. This is going to be the default rank. Rank equals zero. Rank equals player get group in rank. Role equals that, that. Um, dead closure dot rank dot text equals role. Now, if you want to do custom rank names and all that kind of stuff for certain people, I actually just made this for quickly for you. So if player name equals my name right here, it'll say four testing reasons. So let's say for video and you'll see it in the video and it's going to change that for me. But if you do another person in this and then it's going to work. Now, if you have another person you need to keep doing, you just want to keep repeating it. Just make another if statement and then boom. And then just set 
clone GUI dot rank dot text equals custom. Now I, I might make a module for this on the vibe kit. Um, so it's easier to configure, but for now that's about it. Um, then clone GUI dot level dot text equals the level, which is going to be the level dot value. And then this is where we do all the cool stuff with the coloring. So if it's great, if they're greater than a hundred thousand, 10,000, they're going to get all these colors, special colors and stuff. So pretty simple on that actually. Um, and as you can tell, and then the gradients and stuff, and then we set the gradient and scripts enabled and we set the icon dot image. So that is literally it, you guys. It is so simple. So I'm actually going to quick play right here and show you why. Um, and the reason why this is more updated is so it doesn't break for some people um, and it works. So as you can tell, when I change the font, it has the font changed and the icon is over my head. And then we have the four video as the rank with the little gradient. And then you can see the minutes in the top right corner. You can see my name. When I click out, it will say AFK. When I click in, it won't. And then I also made another updated version of the character material. So if you want, when you click AFK, it will turn your color. But that's about it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications, you guys. Um, it means a lot. Um, it's pretty simple. It really is not that hard. This is just another updated version for you. And thank you, Dev, so much. Uh, I quickly made this and uh, made this video just right when I heard about it. But um, yeah, he's a great guy. Thank you. Feel free to check out the Please Donate Kit. And Doris Hangouts will be released really soon. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.